Hi, so in this video I'm going to show you how to set up the paddle or hand controller for the Celestron. Um, I'm going to leave you, you're going to get a 45 degree diagonal and then I have in the telescope right now 90 degree. You can continue using the eyepieces that I gave you earlier. Just as an FYI, you mentioned that you try to take photographs with your cell phone. You could purchase one of these. I have just one. It's a bracket to hold the cell phone. So you bolt it onto the eyepiece. Right now I have it set up to a uh, 40 millimeter eyepiece. And so once you have that there, and then this piece is adjustable too, and you would take your iPhone and you bolt it in, and then this rotates, you could adjust it so your eyepiece would be right over, and it'd be uh, perpendicular to the eyepiece. Once you get it set up, it's really easy to take some photographs. Um, you may want to get a controller though, uh, if you want to hook it up like with a um, like with a uh, stick, and that way you're not shaking the telescope. So once again, hand controller, you're going to have that, and then it does have on here right now. It does have a 90 degree. I do have, and I'll leave in here. It's a compass, but you just leave this in here. If you don't have the eyepiece, you can just slide it in there to keep the dirt out of the tube. So there we go. Uh, let me lower this a little bit. Uh, right now, I have a battery pack that I use for my larger telescopes as uh, for the power for this. Um, what you're going to get, you're going to get a, uh, you put in eight double A's in here. I don't have the official bag. And then you could just, oh, let's see, I got it taped. And then you can just tape it to one of the legs. And then you would plug that where I have this right here. So that'd be plugged in. As soon as you plug it in, you put the hand controller in. There's no on off button. Once it has power, it's on. So here we go. And then there is a controller holder. Get that right there. And here is where you plug this in. And when you're done, you just unplug it. So you plug that in. And you'll probably notice that it is initializing. And you press enter to start. You can select the alignment method. I would suggest reading the manual or if there's other YouTube videos where I show it, I'm not going to go through it because it is, I'm inside, so I can't really, I don't see any stars, so I can't set this up for you indoors. Um, but here in Chicago, I would suggest if you can see a couple stars, you would do a auto two star line. Get hat there. We're in Chicago. Um, you would have to adjust the time. Uh, let's see. And it typically goes back to the last time you were at. But right now we got 11, 28, and hit enter. I, I usually don't worry too much about the seconds. Uh, it says AM or PM. I'm going to change it to PM. Daylight savings, central, and 06, 16, 20. There you go. Hit enter. And with this, it's asking for what stars you want to look for. So if you have an app, you can get an app and you can try to find out in the app which stars that you have. And you know, if, it was, if when it's dark, when you go around, you find out. And if that star is not available because trees are blocking or something, you can just hit the down or up button here. There's the down or the up. And it'll change stars. Uh, Polaris, that's North Star. Easy, typically easy to find if it's not uh, hidden by trees or other things. And, but like I said, for that, you'd want to uh, read the manual or watch another YouTube video.